Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the 2015 Ford Mustang. This looks familiar to a lot of you. This is the My Ford Touch or Sync 2 system. Today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to upgrade to Sync 3 with built in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The installation process is very easy. I'm going to show you guys today how to do that. Everything comes from infotainment.com, pre programmed for a plug and play installation. Very easy. Now, some of you folks might have the four inch screen. If that's the case, we can also move you up to the Sync 3 eight inch screen as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is remove this lower trim here, which will then allow us to remove the top trim here of the dash. It's all held in with um, just uh, retaining clips. So you can use a pry tool or a flathead screwdriver. You can just muscle it out as well. But basically what we're gonna do is just pop these out. Again, this is all held in with retaining clips, so it just comes right out. If you have the gauges here, you will have a little uh, connector right back here. Just disconnect that and set this aside. All right, now what we wanna do is remove the bezel here. Um, so there's two seven millimeter screws up here. Then there's two behind this little plate down here. You can use a dash pry tool or a little screwdriver, but you're basically going to want to get behind this little plate and pop it out. All right, now that we have the four screws removed, two on the top, two on the bottom, pop it out just held in with retaining clips at this point and then what we do is you're going to kind of pull it up and out at the same time then you come behind and just disconnect connectors that are in your control panel here press in the tab and pull out this connector here you're gonna to wanna to separate the bottom from the top. To release that. Now we're gonna remove the two seven millimeter screws from the left side and the two from the right side. Once removed, just disconnect the two connectors. Press the tab in for the USB. Press this little tab here, slide the lever over, and that releases it. All right, now that the My Ford Touch system has been removed, we're gonna wanna use the uh, Torx T9 driver to remove the two screws on each side so we can transfer these two brackets to the new screen. Then just repeat that on the other side. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to install the supply GPS antenna. So the GPS antenna can go anywhere beneath the dash top under the windshield. So some people like to pop this panel up, stick it somewhere up here. Um, I find it just as easy just to stick it back here. It's got a magnetic base. You just kind of stick it back on the metal bracket back here and um, it pulls the signal just fine right there. Uh, but some of you, again, you may want to pop this up and stick it somewhere back in here. Nevertheless, now that that's installed, we can go ahead and plug the blue connector into here. Then the main sync module connector here. Just make sure the gray lever is all the way to the right. And as you push it in, the gray lever goes up you can snap it into place and then just plug in your USB so what we can do at this point we can kind of 
keep everything nice and tucked, stick it back, and now reinstall the four screws we initially took out. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to reinstall our climate control or our bezel. So we'll go ahead and plug all the existing connectors back in same way we took it out. Now when we go to put it back in, we have to come up from the top Line it up. And just make sure the bottom part of the bezel is tucked back in. And then we can just pop it into place. Down here again, it is a little tricky, so take your time. But basically, this is going to be recessed behind these panels in this lower panel here. So you kind of got to wedge it in. Once you have it wedged in, you can go ahead and put your two screws back in on the bottom and the two on the top. We can now uh, pop this little guy back in, like so. All right, now that we got those screws in, we can go ahead and reconnect the top part of our dash. Pops right in, as well as this piece right here. So it's nice and flush. All right, the last step we're gonna do here is just replace the media hub. So basically what you want to do is use your pry tool, just pop the panel out. Basically, once you pop that out, it gives you access to the little pins here on the top and the bottom of the hub. You notice one here, a couple at the bottom and one on the sides. If once you depress a few of them, it'll just pop right out. So basically what you're going to do at this point is remove the three connectors. And we're gonna plug them into the replacement hub. Now what you'll notice is this won't plug into the top. So we have our own custom wiring here at Infotainment. So you can make it 100% plug and play. And allows you to utilize the factory wiring. So basically all you gotta do at this point, tuck all your wiring back in. You'll hear it pop into place and everything just goes right back to normal. All right, now that we have the dash buttoned up and everything back in its place, let's go ahead and start it up and take a look. So you do retain the Mustang logo there splash screen now you have a hundred percent factory Ford Mustang sync 3 system installed in your vehicle so it's such an awesome system here um, when you first start it it's gonna load your map it's gonna pinpoint the GPS so you notice it went ahead and pinpointed us already we're in the home screen right now uh, which will have your nav, your audio, and your phone once you add it. If you press the soft key down there, you'll go into the audio uh, section. That'll allow you to get into sources, whether you have AM, FM. Those of you who have Sirius XM can utilize that here. You don't need to call and change your subscription. We're utilizing the factory installed tuner, so it'll work just plug and play. If you want to add Sirius XM, please let us know. That's something we can definitely help you with, 100% factory.
The other thing I wanted to mention, this vehicle already had Sirius XM in and HD radio. If you want to add both of those or one of them, just let us know. We also do the HD radio as well. So that's your audio section there. Climate, you retain the climate um, just as designed. Your phone hotkey here, go ahead and press that to sync your new phone. You will have to repair your phone. Um, these Sync 3 upgrades come in two different styles on our website. One has embedded GPS navigation and the other does not. The one that does not is a little bit cheaper, but those of you who want embedded factory navigation, go ahead and select the one with nav. As you can see at Pinpoint in our location, you can come in here to the menu. Um, you could do searches, you could do history, um, you know, new destination, whatnot. Uh, 2D, 3D maps. You notice the green lines there. This particular vehicle had serious travel links, so that's updated there. Uh, just a really cool GPS navigation system. Not only does the directions come out of the speaker, uh, but if you do have uh, the upgraded cluster, um, it will t give you the arrows, the, the guidance in your speedometer cluster, which is pretty neat. Coming into here, you also have your apps. As I mentioned, Sirius XM Travel Link, those of you who have it. Um, mobile apps as well. Settings, you can come in here and change your sound settings, Bluetooth, phone, general, um, so on and so forth. That's all through settings. One of the best things about this upgrade, as you know, is the Apple CarPlay. So let me show you guys how that works. First thing we're going to want to do to utilize Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. In this particular example, we're going to do Apple CarPlay. Go ahead and plug your factory lightning cable into your new USB media hub. The other end of it, we're gonna plug into your smartphone. So now you have the Ford Sync 3 CarPlay right here in your 2015 Mustang. Such an awesome upgrade here. Uh, in the home section here, you have your maps and then your existing media, whatever you're listening to currently. If you press this little button over here, it'll give you access to all the different apps you have on your phone. So if you go to Apple's website, uh, to the CarPlay section, it'll tell you all the different ones that are compatible with the Sync 3 system. So a brief explanation, you have to make and receive your phone calls, Apple Music for those of you who are subscribed to that. Apple Maps takes you where you need to go right through here. Messages, it's an awesome safety feature. As people text you, you'll see a little thing that scrolls on the bottom here. You just click it. It'll read it to you and allow you to respond to it the whole time you have your hands on the wheel. Um, you could do podcasts, audiobooks. Google Maps is another great one. Uh, if you have it set up on your phone the right way, it'll give you the satellite view, which is pretty neat. Uh, Pandora, Spotify, SiriusXM, Waze. Those are all awesome apps that you can put on your phone and then have it transferred to the Sync 3 system here. Waze, another crowd favorite. Just an awesome, awesome upgrade here uh, for the 2015 Mustangs. We do this and so much more here at Infotainment. Um, not only the Sync 2 to Sync 3 upgrade, we can also add GPS to a vehicle that doesn't already have it using all Ford parts. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Sirius XM, factory, um, HD radio, factory, we can add leather to your vehicle. We could sell you a kit that you can install yourself. We have how-to videos that show you how to do it. Other awesome upgrades for the Mustang is our digital cluster. This is 100% factory, the digital cluster. That's something we also carry on our website. 100% pre-programmed for your Mustang with the current mileage in your vehicle. So come check us out, guys. Infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.